guys in this video I will show you how to format or make a partition to your external hard drive using your Mac and to use one partition for Mac and another for both in Windows as well as in Mac it's a very straightforward process I brought myself a Western digital external hard disk for one TV so I'm just plugging in using the USB part and just wait for the device and in your Mac you will see here is spotlight search so I'll go to disk utility over here and just press enter okay here it is on the left corner you will see it's my 1TV Western Digital Elements so it's my external hard disk that is detected very properly over here so now what I need to make sure is that I'll go to partition and over here you will see that it says 1TV now I have purchased this Western Digital hard disk a new one yesterday only so I don't have any data over here so I'll go ahead and make a partition using this particular portion now first for example if you have any data in your external hard disk so it's the best option to do is to go ahead and select the plus sign over here and make your partition appear because if a data is there and you go ahead and do the selection from here then what it will do is that it will erase that data from your external hard drive so it's best if you have data to go ahead and select the plus sign from here since I have I don't have any data over here so I'll choose from here I'll make two partitions so just name it that way and when I select this particular partition I want to make this partition for Mac as well as I want to make this partition to be in sync with time machine to back up my MacBook Pro. MacBook Pro has a memory of 500 gigs. So what I'll do is that I'll assign 500 GB because in no circumstance, if I want to back up the full thing, then five it won't be more than 500 GB. So I'm assigning 500 GB and the format over here, I'm just doing it a Mac OS Extended Journal. So I make sure that this partition is readable only on a Mac machine and the uh, this particular partition will also be in sync with my time machine I'll show that in a separate video how to sync this partition with time machine ok now for the second partition what I'll do I need to make sure that it runs on Windows PC or laptop as well as I can open it on my Mac also so just naming it Windows and over here I make sure that the format is MS-DOS FAT this is very essential because if I select this format to be Mac OS extended it won't read on a Windows machine so selecting this particular portion is very important over here now the rest of the size that is left it has already assigned itself over here so here I am done with making my two partitions and now I'll just hit apply now it says I usually want to partition the disk W2 elements stuff like that partitions will be raised, partitions will be added as Mac and Windows so yeah I go ahead and click partition so give it some time maybe it will take around, take around 40 to 50 seconds at the most and it will be done okay as you can see it's done and now if I show you on the right hand side it says Mac and Windows these are the two partitions that make external hard disk hard drive is now known as so that's it guys it's very easy very simple process it's make sure that you make the partition perfectly and use your hard drive for now like the video subscribe to my youtube channel i'll come with more interesting updates very soon